Hey guys, happy Friday evening. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another Costco haul. This Costco haul is actually going to be a two-parter. So I just want to come on here face to face and explain everything real quickly. I won't keep you long, but it's going to be a two-parter because it's four hauls, you guys. That's how long it's taken me. I do apologize. It's taken me so long to get these hauls to you guys. I've been sitting on them and I won't do that again. I will just film it and get it, edit it and get it up. Anyways, it's been really rough around here. We've been getting ready for school with work and everything. My husband and I have been busy, and my little one, my one-year-old, she's been teething. Poor thing. It's been like a rough couple weeks of her teething, and we've just been not... She's not sleeping. I'm not sleeping. So hopefully things get better with that. But that has kind of taken up a lot of our time. And anyways, so this is going to be a two-parter. The other part will be up. Um, later this weekend for you guys to see and this will hopefully be up Friday evening I'm sorry it's taking so long oh my gosh and let's see what else did I want to touch on I do say I'm um a lot in the next clip it's awful I almost thought about deleting this clip you guys to be perfectly honest but it's such a good haul it's it's a really large haul it's a lot of good items and I just I can't do that to you guys and I can't just throw away a video like that so please excuse me saying um a thousand times <laughs> in that video. It drives me nuts watching the playback, but it is what it is. I'm going to keep it real. It's life. I am trying to learn my, still learn my knack on here and figure things out in my wording. It is different filming everything <laughs> that comes through your door. That's a, like a cur a learning curve for me and throwing a camera in my face. Um, it's still a little, you know, different. So please just be patient. I am working on all that good stuff. My content will get better, I promise you. How I record things and everything like that will get much better. So please be patient. And I think that's it. I want to say thank you so much for all your guys' love and everything, kind comments, um, giving me an opportunity, like I said, to create on this platform. I'm very appreciative. And please enjoy the haul, and we'll see you guys in the next one. get right into it so we got um, this limited edition this is a Canada dry variety pack there's 36 in here there's 12 of the ginger ale lemonade 12 ginger ale and 12 ginger ale limeade um, I thought my husband would really like this he likes gin uh, ginger ale like Canada dry and I'll have like a couple of the regular ones here and there so we went ahead and got that um, water was actually, we got the eight ounce, you know, um, is there 80 in here? Wow. I guess it's an 80 pack. That's crazy. I had no idea this whole time. So we got the, um, 80 pack, I guess, of, um, eight ounce waters. They were actually sold out, but a, a girl was putting them back and she, um, had offered, um, she was like, I'm going to put these back. Do you want them? Cause I was looking around for water. And so I was really grateful. We had great like encounters with the Costco employees. We usually always do, but, um, it, it was like exceptionally great today. So, um, it was really refreshing and nice, but we got those. Um, and then we did get these pH waters cause they were out obviously. So, um, this is just alkaline. It's a 24 pack and they're 20 fluid ounces. So we went ahead and got those for like work. Um, let's see. We got these um, baking, this set of three baking sheets. There's a small like half sheet and then two of, or I'm sorry, two half sheets and one quarter sheet, excuse me. I was reading that wrong. So we got those. Um, we kind of need new baking sheets a little bit. Um, I have one good one, but um, the other one I need to replace. So I went ahead and got those. Um, this rug, you guys, is such a good find. It's on sale, and um, I did take a little video clip. I don't know if I'm going to do a shop with me or just a haul, but anyways, it's super soft. The best part is it's washable, and then it has this non-slip grip, which is great because we trip over the rug in our kitchen, and we even have that like non-slip, like you cut it out, um, 
like little foam that goes underneath it, but we still trip over it. So I think this is going to work out so much better in the fact that we can wash it. Um, the other one's like made out of wool um, or like it might be like fake wool, but so um, and it has like little tassels. I only found one black one, but um, they had some really pretty colors. Um, hopefully, like maybe I edit this and do a shop with me, but if not, um, I do apologize. But these are really cool. Check them out. Um, so it's the Mineral Spring Microfiber Rug 30 by 46. And it just says it's a decorative accent rug, machine washable, non-slip backing. So that's kind of what it looks like. Okay. Then let's just go. Um, we got chicken stock again. I'm stocking up on things. Kind of gearing up for the fall and just... Um, you know, when it's not as hot, we'll be cooking a little bit more. But I do like to have this on hand, and I have it in a while. So it's just a better deal this way, and it's really good chicken stock. I like to make a lot of soups and stuff, so we went ahead and got that. And I think there, how many is there? Six cartons in there. And does it say? They're just like the uh, six quart. So, and I get, you're, they're reusable and everything, so if you don't use them, you know, all that good stuff, you can put them in the fridge. We did get these bite sized the classic baby creamers is what it says. They're organic. Um, they're red and, uh, like, yellow um, potatoes or white potatoes. Um, so we got those for dinners. And we can even breakfast if you just do onions, bell peppers, and cut these up into, like, fours. Um, or even halves, depends how you like it. They make a great, like, um, country, like, breakfast potato. We got paper towels, and they had, um, Kirkland this time, so we definitely got that one because it is still a little cheaper, even with the bounty on sale by a couple dollars, so we got that. We got Kirkland bath tissue. Um, they had both Kirkland and Charmin, and we just, you know, um, prefer paying the cheaper price for the Kirkland. So um, it seems to be a little better. So maybe, you know, um, the quality of the tissue's been better. So hopefully that's kind of, it says thicker than ever before. <laughs> so maybe it wasn't just us who thought there was an issue with that. But anyways, um, we got this again for various meals um, to have in the pantry. You can do a lot with tomato paste. And I haven't had this in my pantry in a while. So um, we got that. And I think there's... It says there's 12 six-ounce cans in there. Um, we did get some tuna. Um, we've been out. And we like to have tuna sandwiches every once in a while. And this is just something good to stock up on. This is the Kirkland Albacore Solid White Tuna in Water. And it says there's eight seven-ounce cans. So we got that. We did get batteries. We really have been needing AA batteries, and I always forget when we go. And I've been waiting for them to be on sale, but I think I missed the sale. It was a while ago. But um, these were cheaper, and you get more. So we just went ahead and got Kirkland, and they say they're alkaline battery piles. So there's that. Um, I've been wanting to get pasta. So we went ahead and got um, pasta. This one's like the colored pasta. But I think it's kind of fun um, for the holiday season. And so we went ahead and got that. There's six packs in here. You have two spirals, two um, shells, and then two bow ties. So pretty good deal for those. And they're organic. Let's see. We got um, Dave's Thin Sliced Good Seed Killer Bread. Dave's Killer Bread. And this is the Good Seed. It's the 80 calorie, the thin, uh, thinner slice. We really liked this last time. I love this. This is my favorite. And everyone ate it. So we got two of those. We freeze one. And then we use one one week. And then we'll pull out the other one and use it the next week. So that works out really well. We did get some um, baguettes this time. It just says two pack Kirkland Signature Baguettes. And it's um, $4.99 um, for those two. And I'm actually going to make some French toast, I think. We're going to snack on maybe like one or half of one. But I want to make some like 
really nice um, French toast with this. Uh, we did get these. These are the Milton's um, Craft Baker's Gluten-Free Crispy Sea Salt Baked Crackers. It's a mouthful. Um, it's 20 ounces. And these were really good. They were sampling them, and I'll show you what they were sampling them with. Um, they were more so advertising the um, spread that we got. But Costco is extremely smart, and they utilize more than just one item when they're sampling. So then you end up buying more. It's genius. <laughs> but these are really good. My kids even like them. So we went ahead and got those. Uh, we got more tortillas. I will say, and I don't know if I did something wrong or they just don't freeze well. We did freeze half of this in the last haul when we got them. And because um, it comes in two big packs, two 50 packs. And... Um, they did not freeze well, personally, for myself, unless I did something wrong. But we just, I think, I will either see if my mother-in-law wants a half, or um, they usually have a good shelf life. So this says August 30th. Um, so we should be okay, um, honestly. I do know, <clears throat> excuse me, some people put them in the fridge. Um, but um, they usually do okay in like our little bread bin. Um, I got some hamburger buns. We're going to freeze half of these. Uh, we always do that, and that goes with our hamburgers that we have frozen, our hamburger patties, and then also the chicken patties. Let's see. I just want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. Sometimes that happens. Um, these are new, and I'm super excited. They are the, I think it's pronounced Amara yogurt melts. Um, I was trying to see if they had an age on here. My daughter's over one, so um, she's got lots of teeth coming in, so we're um, good to go on that. But these melt really fast, even better than the, the other ones. Um, like the, I think it's the Happy Baby, those are great as well, but um, these melt really well. Um, I don't know, I was trying to look on the, for the age, you guys, so I could... It says, your child will be ready to... S oh, I'll, I'll just show you guys so you can kind of see it. Um, your child may be ready for the snack when your little sits up independently, picks up food to eat with fingers, chews, and uses jaws to mash food between gums. And then, obviously, they should be seated and supervised. Anyways, um, she loves them. And there's no sugar added. It's plant-based yogurt snack. This is mango carrot, so it looks like... There's um, coconut, carrot, and mango, but um, you get a four pack, and I thought this was actually a, a pretty good deal, and I like that it's a little bit healthier option, less less ingredients, less going on, so I was really excited to see Costco carrying this, and you guys should definitely try it out if your baby's um, obviously age appropriate for this, but uh, we liked it a lot. She likes it so far, so there's that. Definitely check it out. Um, we did f get these finally. I've been meaning to get them every time I go. It's the Kirkland Organic Fruit and Vegetable Pouches. There are 12 apple strawberry yellow carrots and then 12 apple mango yellow carrot peach. Um, anyways, I wanted to get these for my daughter because we do buy the pouches for her and um, they can be pretty costly. So this was a really good deal for um, how many are in here. Hopefully she likes them. And I know a lot of mommies um, get them for their, their little ones, so I think she'll like those. And then even if my boys want to, they're more than welcome. Um, then we got, this was my first time seeing these, but um, they could have been there for a minute. These are heavy duty compactor and kitchen drawstring bags. They're 18 gallon, so a little bit larger than like the double pack. I think the double pack is 13 gallons. And these were like $3 less, I want to say, but you get way less. So keep that in mind. We just want to try these out. We don't have a compactor, but we like that they're heavy duty and a little bit bigger. Um, so I would say go for the other ones, the two pack, because you get like 200 of them for like $17.99. And then obviously when they're on sale, like definitely get them. So we're going to try these out and see. Um, but I was just thinking storage-wise, this might be better because the other ones are like these huge rolls and I can't fit them in the drawer that 
I like to put them in until like we get down to to like half halfway down like a roll. So I'm hoping this will work out better storage wise, but there's that. And then we did get diapers. Um, we needed to open them, you guys, but I thought it would be cool to show you in case anyone's curious. I apologize about the lighting. It's a little bit later in the day, but um, they are very similar to Huggies, I want to say. Um, we really like them. I do think I jumped the gun on size four. I thought it w she needed to go up a size, but I might have to go back and get a size three. They're a little big. They still work, but um, in there, if you want to see... All those, um, newborns 14 pounds, um, size 2 is 12 to 18, size 3 is 16 to 28, size 4 is 22 to 37 pounds, 5 is 20, uh, 27 pounds plus, excuse me, and then 6 is 35 pounds plus. Okay guys, um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you um, the cold and frozen and meats. I'm not going to tamper too much with the meats because they're kind of mixed. Um, there's beef, chicken, and all that. So I don't want to mess with the chicken, especially that much on, and like the beef always, the ground beef always leaks. So I will add the price in like per pound and stuff. I'll try to tell you real quickly as well. Um, but I'm not going to tamper with that too much. And yeah, we'll just uh, get right into it. And again, I do apologize. We are limited on space where we live. Um, so, I mean, it is what it is. Um, but I can't lay everything out like perfectly. I wish I could, but it just, we're working with what we have. Um, we got these tortilla fresca, organic uncooked flour tortillas. There's a, it's a 36 count. We're going to go ahead and try these. Um, we usually get the tortilla land and, um, I'm hoping these like are a little more authentic tasting. I know I've seen some people haul these, so I'm excited to try those. Uh, we got some half and half. Um, it has a great expiration date. Half and half usually does, but um, excuse me, uh, September 3rd. And I was so excited to see this. Um, it's such a great deal, a half a gallon of half and half. I use these for various soups. Um, I do like to make a lot of soups. It is extremely hot right now, so I'm not making that many, but um, I will probably next month. Um, so yeah, I went ahead and got that. And we also have the Nespresso, like the frother. So that's totally like if my husband wants to froth some for his coffee or if I do or whatever, that's great to have on hand. So it's great for coffee too. Um, so we got that. This is the sauce, the dip I was telling you guys about. I thought it was this. Okay. So this one is the, this dip is nuts. But I know they had, um, they were sampling this, this trio and then another trio that was like made by the bitchin sauce. I think it's like, I think it's Dave's. I don't know. My son was saying something like, oh, that's by the Dave guy. I don't know if that's true. So don't quote me, <laughs> but we sampled this one. It was really good. Um, there's spinach, artichoke, uh, roasted green chili papita, and then green onion, um, these she was sampling the lady was so sweet she was sampling them with the crackers and this it was really good you guys so and the other one i'm sure is really good too but this as well but this is the one we tried and there's a se three seven ounce containers so we're excited to like have that as a snack we also got some hummus um this is just such a great deal for this huge and i love the the roasted pine nut hummus that's my favorite um there's two pounds in here so that's awesome and then we also got um, fresh mozzarella balls again. <laughs> they were on sale, um, $3 off, and the sale's about to end. So we went ahead and picked those up. And these are just so good. They're in the marinated sauce. They're delicious um, on their own, especially if you're doing like keto or something. That is a great snack. Um, but you can even do it with some bread. Like we have the baguettes if we really want to. Um, but there's that. We just like to snack on it, so. But it is delicious with bread if you want to be, you know, a little like a risk taker, you know. Um, <laughs> we got more of the cacique, um, the quesadilla cheese. This is like the Mexican style shredded cheese. It is delicious. I'm telling you guys, try this if you haven't. My boys love the quesadillas. Even my daughter, she's like obsessed with quesadillas, especially with this. 
just such a beautiful easy combo and a like a decent snack or lunch for the kids you know a little bit better than other things um i'm excited to try this i've seen it on and off again um I, I saw it a while back, but um, I saw this again. I love noodles, like stir fries. So this is Japanese style um, teriyaki stir fry udon um, with mixed veg uh, vegetable topping. So I'm excited to try this. I'll probably stir it in a pan. Um, I rather it just tastes better. And I have the wok and I love it. So I will probably use that. Um, so I will let you know if we like this, but I'm pretty sure they've had this in the past. I've seen it before, but this will be our first time trying it. Um, we got bell peppers again, two red, two yellow, two orange. So we got those for dinners. Um, we got the organic zucchini yellow squash. Um, this is just great for grilling for the summer. So we've been keeping this in stock. We got green beans. I love to do green beans, um, on the, like on a skillet or in the oven, um, with like some garlic and um, like butter or olive oil. We got some cucumbers. These are the English cucumbers. Um, they're the organic long English cucumbers. So great for salads or just snacking. So we got those and my older, like my older son will eat them and we will as well. Um, we're still working on my six year old. He's, we're working on it. Um, Caesar salad kit. This is the best, it's an um, earth bound farm organic Caesar salad kit. Um, it's just the best. Get a chicken from there, cut it up, easy dinner. But even on its own with if you're serving like pizza or lasagna or just anything, this is a great side and it's really delicious with the seasonings in it and the uh, salad dressing. We got more fish. Um, this is the tortilla crusted tilapia. This makes two meals for us. We love to have this in our freezer and we needed more. Um, I usually serve it up with, um, sometimes pasta, but usually with a rice. And then I do like um, onions and like corn or onions and mushroom together or something on the side. So that's really yummy. If you guys haven't tried this, I know a lot of people have. Um, if you don't mind just a little bit of spice, not very much, just a little kick. This is awesome, we love that. Um, and even my daughter will eat this. My one-year-old, we give her a little bit, and um, both my boys will eat this, so it works out really well for us. I got a three-pack of bacon. Bacon is extremely expensive, but we do like to have it on hand here and there. We do like to do, like, a nice Sunday breakfast, um, like, every other Sunday, so we did get some bacon, and we'll probably freeze um, at least one of these. They, they have a good shelf life in the fridge. Let's see. They... Expire used by, sorry guys, in case anyone wants to know, um, October 17th. So like I said, great shelf life, um, but we wanted to have some of that on hand. This is new, um, the marinated beef skirt steak. I know they have this sometimes or like tri-tip, they had a tri-tip as well. Um, this is with chimichurri sauce. So um, I'm really excited to try this. I looked it up to see what it is. And it's basically like olive oil, parsley. Um, I think there's some lemon, garlic. So um, anyways, it sounded really good. So instead of getting the other one, this is way cheaper by like, gosh, was it, <clears throat> excuse me, like $15. So, and it was like half a pound less than the other, like the regular packets that we usually get. So if we like this, I definitely want to get like another one next time we go. But I will let you guys know how it is. Um, so we're excited to grill that and try that. We got more ground beef to um, freeze. So it's $3.99 per pound. So if you don't know, that is like a couple dollars more. Obviously, meat's really expensive right now. But um, it's $23.98 for just over six pounds. Normally, this was like $19 or something like that. And then we did get... I don't want to mess with it too much, but... Um, chicken thighs. I'm going to freeze these, you guys, so we can have them on hand. Um, I'm really trying to stick to meals at home. It gets really expensive to eat out, and we buy all these groceries, and I'm really, like, um, it's really expensive, you guys, to, like, even cook at home for a family of five. Um, so we're really, like, learning the curve of a family of five. It's, a, it's, um, 
we have to budget quite a bit because it's just like it's out of control at this point how much our boys eat and like cooking three meals at home basically right now it's it's a lot of money so um we did get that's 22.87 um for seven and a half pounds so 2.99 two per pound so i am going to freeze these and they come in a little thing i have to see what my daughter's up to she's being quiet okay we got the Bibigo fully cooked mini wontons. It's chicken and cilantro. Um, we really like these. It's like a 48 ounce. Yeah, 48 ounce. We love to have these in the freezer. Um, it's great for um, like a side dish or lunch or a quick snack. Um, everybody in the family likes these. Um, so definitely try those if you haven't. They've been around a while. I think most people know how good they are. Um, Kirkland Signature Boneless Skinless Chicken Breast. I use this for dinner. We love to have this on hand. I have like one breast left from the previous package. So I definitely needed more. And um, yeah, it's just it's such a great deal. I love that they're individually wrapped. Um, we boil and bake it, like I said, or leave it out for dinner. So we love that. We got more of the variety pack cheese. We haven't um, gotten this in a while and we used up the last that we had. Um, a while back. There is Swiss Colby Jack Cheddar and Monterey Jack. Um, it's really a good deal for what you get. So we got that for like hamburgers and sandwiches for work. Um, and then like grilling hamburgers. We got the Adele's Chicken Meatballs Teriyaki and Pineapple. Uh, we get this every once in a while. My husband loves it. I make like a stir fry with it. Um, or you could just put it in the crock pot with like a sauce or something. Um, but really good. I do like a teriyaki like stir fry with it over rice or you can just do it alone if you're like trying to kind of leave out carbs a little bit. But um, really good and it comes in a two pack so we usually like freeze one and then keep one in the fridge. Um, we got more of our Lees. Um, just so you know so this is um, like it's Vietnamese like um, concentrated coffee so it's frozen coffee it is local i think to southern california um sorry about that um it is local to southern california but um i believe so anyways we love it um it's probably not the best for you but it's really good especially during the summer and it's hot and then we just make ice for the week and then um I was gonna open one up to show you guys, but maybe I'll do it in a short and show you guys like, cause we put like one in the fridge, it's really cool. And they're really, really good, like ridiculous. Um, but uh, I will definitely, it says number one in America, but I think it's only, I keep touching this chicken, I shouldn't do that. I think it's only Southern California. I could, I hope I'm wrong, honestly. Um, let me know if your guys' Costco carries this, um, but it is really good. I also got this Kirkland A2 Organic Whole Milk. Um, it's ultra, ultra pasteurized, vitamin D grade A. Um, I wanted to give this a go. I saw this uh, along with the half and half that's new to us. And I know um, the A2 is protein. It's a little bit better for the little ones. So I'm going to see if my daughter um, likes this. And so we went ahead and got that because I think it will be a little bit better for her. But um, I was excited to see this. So I think that's everything. Hopefully I didn't leave anything out. Sorry, it's kind of <laughs> does not look pretty at all. But um, we did get a lot of good things for what we paid. So I feel good about that, but it was a lot. <laughs> okay, so we got the Baby Yoda. I'm gonna do this different because we're in a hurry. I got a second set of the uh, cuttery because um, they are on sale. And I did get the two-tiered tray. We got this pizza, there, it's a two-pack, this is new. Apples, those are organic gala apples. We got this unsweetened green tea. Um, we did get, we needed some toilet bowl cleaner, so we got the OXO Softworks two-pack. Is a key lime pie. I got these for my husband. Should like those hopefully. 
sorry, this is so unconventional right now. Cheese it grooves, mac and cheese, and then we got more of the beef bulgogi because it's four dollars off right now. So a really good deal. Um, organic mixed veggies. We got the ham, the Kirkland um, uncured extra lean ham, meatballs, pesto sauce. Okay, so there's that. We got some mushrooms. We got this Asian cashew chopped salad kit. Sorry about the lighting. We got more egg bites. We did get more hot dogs. We'll freeze half and barbecue, barbecue the other half. We got two waters. And then sugar-free Red Bull. A huge pack of that, ciabatta rolls, croissants, hot dog, buns, and that's it. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. It really helps me out. Uh, look out for part number two that will be coming later this weekend. And also a uh, Trader Joe's haul hopefully will be up for you guys next early next week. I should be going hopefully on Sunday if not Monday. So look forward to that. You can also turn on your post notification bell for my channel. So that way you never miss out on a video. I really appreciate you guys. Have a great safe weekend and we will see you in the next haul. Take care.